Hey guys, this is Ben Glenn, building success brick by brick, coming to you with 30 more helpful tips. This is tip number three, volume two. Approach every conversation you have with honesty. Back in the 80s when I grew up, we didn't have 351 channels. We didn't have TiVo. We couldn't record stuff. If we wanted to see something on TV, we actually had to watch it live. Isn't that a crazy concept? When Saturday would roll around, my brothers and I would do whatever we could to stay up as late as possible so we could watch our favorite show, Saturday Night Live. Which back in the late 80s, I think Saturday Night Live was right at there at the top. I mean, they were they were putting out a high quality program. And they had great actors like Dana Carvey, Kevin Nealon, John Lovitz, Phil Hartman, Victoria Jackson. The cast was incredible. One of the most popular sketches that SNL did back in the late 80s featured John Lovitz. And John Lovitz in this sketch was a chronic liar. And he, you knew he was lying because he would start out by saying something and then he'd trail off four or five other options and then he'd find something that he absolutely loved. He'd say something along the lines of, I'm from Milwaukee, would, uh, Minnesota, and uh, China. Yeah, I'm from China. Yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. That sounds really good. And you could never believe what this guy was saying. And obviously they did it at such a huge level that it was very funny. But if you've ever met somebody like this, it is the most frustrating conversation you can ever have. I had a classmate back in high school that was a lot like the character John Lovitz played on SNL. You could never believe what he was saying. And so anytime this kid wanted something or wanted to do something, uh, you had a hard time believing, okay, well, if I show up there at Pizza Hut, he said he's going to be at Pizza Hut. I'm not sure if he's going to be at Pizza Hut. So you know what? I'm not even going to bother because I can't believe this individual. It's, in essence... The whole crying wolf syndrome. Who let the doggy out? Okay, you're going to need to get off the dog, okay? You don't ride the dog. I don't know what's happened to this classmate. I do hope that he has discovered that honesty is the best approach. But it was sad for me to watch as we started school together to see this guy, his circle of friends, diminish from the ninth grade all the way to the twelfth grade because people couldn't trust him. They didn't believe what he would say. In one group, he would say one thing because he wanted to impress that particular group of individuals. But then when he would go over here and he was around a different group of people, he'd be somebody else. So my building success brick by brick tip for you today is, in all your conversations, in fact, in everything, every area of your life, be honest. Not just in the conversations that you have with the people around you, but also be honest with who you are. When you're around a certain set of people that you want to try to impress, don't put on some special act. Don't try to do something or be something that you're not to propel yourself into popularity, but be who you are. And if there's potential for a relationship there, great. If you don't connect, move on. Because there are people out there that I guarantee you will connect with you for who you are. And that relationship probably isn't worth pursuing. Honesty is foundational for success in any area of your life. In a relationship, if somebody cannot trust you, they are not going to confide in you. In the workplace, if somebody cannot trust that you're going to get the job done or do what you say you're going to do, you're not going to get the opportunities. Honesty is foundational. So be honest. Hey, this is Ben Glenn, and as always, love, peace, and hair grease, reminding you to do one thing. Keep on building. God bless.